My name is Hank Nelson. I'm the NHD point of contact for the eight most western states. I'm going to give a demo on linear referencing. The NHD has reach codes on all the NHD flow lines. They can be one line segment or they can be more than one. Both examples have three line segments making up one reach. And this is the reach we were just looking at and we put measures on our streams so that stream addresses can be put on there as events and a measure is divided up into 100 even parts. This is a case where we have a USGS stream gauge as an event on this same reach code we were looking at earlier. The stream gauge has the coordinates of the latitude and longitude and it also has an address that's on our reach code. And in this case, the measure is 19.8392, which is 20% upstream from the downstream end. This is a case where California is using these point events to show fish blockage. In this case, there is a bridge on the top picture where it is partial blockage because some fish can get through there and some can't. The middle one is a dam where it's complete blockage because no fish can get through there. And the bottom one is case of potential blockage because if the water level goes down, they won't be able to get through that culvert. This is an example of BLM doing linear referencing for riparian data. And on this case, you can see where the line in red is part of a stream. And so it's part of a reach code. And it goes from about a third of the way upstream to about three quarters of the way upstream. There's a from measure and a to measure. So that lets you know which reach code it is on, which is the one that ends in 75. And then it's 1,974 meters. And the uh, three down there, that's just a uh, rating that the BLM puts on the riparian data. This is an example in California where they have fish barriers. And is what they can do with this data then is from where the fish barriers keep fish from going upstream, they can highlight all the streams that fish can go through. So the dark black is where uh, fish can go through. And then the dashed lines are where it's partially blocked and some fish can get through. And the other is where it's completely blocked and no fish can get through. They use this data to decide if they want to remove a barrier or not. So if they can remove one barrier and get an extra 20 miles of stream, it might be worth it. But in some cases, they'd have to remove five barriers and only gain four miles of stream. This is an example in Colorado where there's a stream gauge on the Blue River, which drains out of the Green Mountain Reservoir. What this does is it makes the stream gauge smarter, putting it on the NHD, and the stream gauge makes the NHD more intelligent. In this case, the stream gauge knows that there is Green Mountain Reservoir upstream, and it knows how many miles of stream are feeding into it, and it also knows what's downstream, where the Blue River will flow into the Colorado River. And this is how the stream gauge makes the NHD more intelligent because now we know how much water is flowing out of the Green Mountain Reservoir.